Hi everyone, and thank you for downloading the basic text block Shopify section by Quick Code. In this video, I'll be showing you how to actually use it. So if you haven't installed it yet, please refer to the separate video included in the package. And you also have access to a PDF with instructions for your reference. So to get started, go to the theme editor, navigate to the page you want to add the section to. And once you're there, on the left side, click on add section, uh, search for basic text section. Click on that and you get a default uh, setup that appears. On the left hand side, you see all the different elements that appear. There's a subtitle, title, text block, and button. Uh, you can hide any of these or remove them by selecting it and clicking on remove block at the bottom. You can also, um, you can also rearrange them if you'd like. Usually there's no reason to, but maybe the, the subtitle uh, you'd like to have there for 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 a reason or or something. To add content, you'd go to each one of these. You'd click on it. You go to the right side at the very top. You can add the section the, the section subtitle. Um, let's just do um, our products. Let's say, or better yet, about us then you can set up the color if not it takes the, the colors from their website but let's just let's make a dark like a medium gray color you can use a different font if you'd like than the theme editor that, that that your theme um already provides or you could just use it uh use cut you can use a, cu a custom font or use the one that's already part of your theme uh, top topography to do so you can click here uh, custom font and then you can select a font from the list moving down you have subtitle top margin and bottom margin margins are the space above and below the element so if you want more space let's say between these the, the title and the subtitle you would just add in margin bottom and you get more space in uh, below. And same thing if top margin, which is a little bit irrelevant unless we give a background color, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, you can update the font size, zero, uh, the font size or the line height or the letter spacing. Zero indicates it's gonna use the default values, but if you'd like, we can just set up a small font like that. We can give some letter spacing, there we go. We have the same, and we have the same uh, um, settings for mobile versions. So if we want to see it on mobile version and have different font sizes, etc., you can go up here, click on mobile, and then you can adjust the font size of the subtitle on mobile to have something different, like that. Going back to desktop. Those are the settings for the uh, for the subtitle. Now going to the se section title, it's the same exact settings. Um, up here, you would update the uh, the title like so. Let's make this font size a little bit bigger. Oops, there we go. And then we can go to the text block, which is this area. We can leave this here. We can make it much longer as well. Or even just one big paragraph like so. Let's add some top margin just to give it a little bit more space right there. And then we have an option for a button. Obviously you don't have to have a button, but if you'd like, you could, you could put it in here and um, update that you can add in a CSS class if you want to take if you if you're a little bit more technical technically savvy and you know the class of the button that you're using in other uh, other places on your website you can add the class here and usually it will be able to import it but otherwise we have the the needed settings below so you can add so like I said we add the label we can add a link can have it open up in a new tab or just you know replace the the page that you're on we can update the 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 uh, font 
here we can we can we can change the width of the of the button however we'd like we have a border width right now we don't really see the border uh, we can change we can change that down here so for instance if we want to have a red border we choose the color then scroll back up here and then we can give we can give a border color like so but if we don't we just put it zero we could set up a uh give some border radius if we'd like the uh that that style and that it matches the look and feel of your website and of course the margins top margin to give a little bit more space and here we also have padding padding is the space inside the element so if we want it to be a little bit fatter as we say taller like that and then a little bit more horizontal padding Pad uh, the horizontal padding is a little tricky to, because it's it, it depends on how how long the text is and what the max width that you set that you set it up to be so if i make it much smaller then we're going to be able to see more horizontal padding but it doesn't really work as well until you just set up the the correct width size that you want here we have font size and letter spacing for the button. Like I said, we have colors here. We can do background color, text color, um, and then for the hover, for the state where you hover over. So let's say we want to make it blue. So once you hover over, it becomes blue. If you want to have, let's say, just a border of an image, then we can, let's make this black. We make the text black background color let's remove it go back up here and set the width to two pixels let's say and that's it you could hover over and the border still stays but we can always because that's just the way the uh if we don't want a border but we want it to, be, to have a black background and white text then there you go we have that effect as well now for other general, more general uh, settings, we'll go back up here and click to, on the main section. And here we can put, we can adjust alignment, left align, right align, and center. We have the same setting for mobile. If we wanna change that and have it specifically for mobile, we can add a background color to the whole, to the entire section. Here we have maximum width where you can adjust the width of the section. So right now we have it pretty wide. We can make it much smaller like so. You have top and bottom margin as I explained before. It's the space above and below. So if you have more sections and you want to give some more space in between, then you can do that, do that. as well as top and bottom padding. So that's the inner space to remind you. So we can include that, increase that. We have more space and we can also do some horizontal padding, though horizontal padding is kind of a play along with the maximum width. So you can adjust that and play with it and it gives some more space, like 50 pixels on each side or however you'd like. And below here, we have all of the those same settings um, ready to go for the mobile version. That's it. Thank you again. And we hope that this section helps you achieve your website goals. If you have any questions, feel free to go to our website and uh, find the support page and reach us from there. Thanks again.